Hey everybody, hi, welcome to Virtual Learning 1.0 uh, in Web 2. So my hope is, is that people can use Atom, they can download Atom to a PC computer or a Mac computer. Uh, if you have a Chromebook, uh, my hope is you can add or download the Google Chrome extension Carrot, C-A-R-E-T. I have linked and talked about it um, on the weekly assignment. From now on, we're going to have weekly projects or assignments. A couple projects might be um, two weeks because of the size of the project. Um, so anyways, uh, this is we're just going to do our best and see how we do. Uh, my hope is with Carrot is that you're able to download or if you have a Chromebook, you're able to download the zipped file uh, on the assignment, each assignment and project that I load each week. Uh, I'll load one on Monday, and it'll be due on Friday, typically. Now, again, some might be two weeks, but I will let you know. This first one is just a week. And we're going to be creating this page here. And it has a uh, jumbotron, and I'm going to give you this image of the coffee beans. Um, it has a jumbotron. It has a little tan area above it. It has the image as the background of the jumbotron. It has a little area, the same color and same size below it. It has a large container called I called main, and it has a row of uh, a heading and paragraph. And then I have a separate uh, row just for this horizontal line. And then I have a separate row for the product, and I get a fake image. And notice I rounded the corners of the fake image with CSS. And uh, we have a, you know three columns in that row. Then I have a whole other row for another uh, HR line. right? I do that with a separate row. And then, this is kind of weird, this is something we haven't done. I have a, a row with a column four for a list, unordered list. Notice it's not clickable. And then I have a column one, and I, we've done something, uh, basically we're using vertical height, and we design a border line, but it's vertical and not, so this is an HR tag right here. This is an HR tag right here, but notice this one is vertical. So a little different. And then we have a column six, I guess, uh, or seven for this text. And then we have um, a footer area. I just made a new container for the footer area. And I have something vertical height, and I'm messing with this text. So I placed it in the middle, basically, of this area vertically. Okay, so that's what we're going to be creating. So I'm going to make a video where... We're going to talk about the H HTML. I'm not going to hand code it. I'm going to stop and start. And I want you to stop and start the videos and type out exactly what I have. So the first thing I do is, again, if I go into Atom, um, and I again, I've given you a, a zip file with a folder. Uh, once you open it, it has a... It's a folder, and it has a bootstrap template in it, and then it's just like this. Everything's ready to go with bootstrap, but notice there's nothing in the body to, for, to, for it to show up. So it is all set. It's linked up. There's a CSS folder that comes with it, and also a JS folder that comes with it. Okay? And uh, it's all connected, ready to go. So we're always going to start there every project okay that's all I'm asking uh, rather than try to grab an old assignment and make it and change it out it's gonna take you longer to do that alright so I talked about what we're gonna do now again I'm just gonna show you um, each part and I want you to stop the video and type out what I have I changed my title I put my last name and just put coffee page so if you can do that there and then I have not changed this. This is the link. And again, the template should already be linked up to the Bootstrap min CSS file. Now, on the template, I have something just called style. 
And notice I placed it inside the CSS folder, just like where this CSS file is here. So, but on this, I'm going to eventually, not now, but eventually we're going to make a new CSS file. And that's going to be in the second video. So this first video is just going to be HTML between the body. So the first thing I did is I want you to make these comments too. Notice a comment is a angle bracket, uh, exclamation point, and then a dash dash, and then whatever the comment is. And then to stop the comment, it's a dash dash and the ending angle point. Okay? All right, so we're going to, uh, I'm going to have you uh, do all of the comments. So everything I've done exactly, that's what you're going to do. So again, here's the body. We're going to start just underneath the body. And I want you to type out that exactly what I have. I made a large container. Uh, sorry, sorry uh, a, a container for the top. Notice it says container-fluid. That means it goes all the way across. doesn't have any empty space on the left or right side. And inside of it, there's a row and a column 12. And then I've given the column 12. I've added another um, class name called wide hr underscore top that we'll talk to later on in the second video. Okay? And this is going to create the top tan line above the jumbotron. So go ahead and type that out. And again, I want you to type out all the comments that I have. So everything right here. Okay? And then you can stop that and type it out exactly. And then I'm going to scroll down. This is where the Jumbotron is. So I'm going to have you type out comments to start the Jumbotron. And the Jumbotron, and we're going to talk to that in Bootstrap, that is an area that typically goes expands uh, the whole width of the page. And notice I have a container fluid inside of it. So I have a Jumbotron, a container fluid, a row, a column 7, uh, and I notice I added a two um, class names. And this text center is a bootstrap thing, a text, um, a class name that will center whatever is inside that column. Okay. So again, go ahead and type out this right here. And I'm going to put, basically I'm putting text above the Jumbotron image. We're going to put, you're going to put the Jumbotron image as the background of the Jumbotron area right here. And we'll do that again in the second video. So go ahead and type that out exactly the way I have it with comments. And don't look at your page yet. You can stop it and type it out. And then scroll down when you're ready. And type out this. This is for the bottom tan line just below the Jumbotron. Basically a mirror image of the top line. So go ahead and stop the video and type out all my comments. Again, a container fluid, which goes all the way across the page. I have a column 12, a row of column 12. And I've given also an extra class name of wide HR underscore bottom where I design this part of the page. So go ahead and again, stop the video and type out exactly what I have there with comments. And then now we're going to be the main container of the page. So I'm basically going to um, make the main part of the page. So I'm going to highlight just that right there. And if you want to stop the video, and you're going to create a container. Now notice it's not a container fluid, but I also gave it a separate class name so I can design it if I need to be. Need to be. And I have a row, I have column 6 with a block quote. And let me actually do this. I'll have you. Oops, sorry. Sorry about that. Here we go. Having issues. There we go. I'll have you. That's the first column div. So go ahead and just stop that. 
So I have a, a, a row, I have a column six with a block quote. We haven't done too many blocks, block quotes. Notice I give the block quote tag a class name of lead, and that's a bootstrap uh, class name that it recognizes. So go ahead and stop the video. And that's the first column six in that row that I have highlighted. And then once you do that, I'm gonna scroll down here and we're going to do, remember the magic number is 12, so I only have a column 6. Here's the second column 6. And that once you do that, because it equals 12, 6 and 6, we're able to close the row and start a new row. So that's, the, that's row 1 in the main container. And notice the comments of where I close it. So go ahead and stop the video and add that. Now... I'm going to scroll down here. We're going to do row two. Now, row two is just an HR tag, but I like to make a separate row with a column 12. And again, column 12 is one big column across the row. And I have an HR tag in it. And that's just going to create a simple line, but give it enough like vertical spacing to break things up uh, design-wise. Okay. So go ahead and stop the video and again add the comments like I do. That's row two. Now if I scroll down, here's row three again with comments. And row three is going to be three separate column fours. So let me show you where we are on the page here. So row three is this product, one, two, and three, with Latin text and fake images. So that's where we are. So again, I'm going to highlight the comment to start the row. I'm going to highlight the first column four div. So go ahead and stop the video and type out exactly what I have. Notice I'm getting a video from a video of a, a graphic, a fake image from placehold.it, and it's going to be 150 pixels by 150 pixels. So all you have to do is just type it out like that. And I also gave it a class name that Bootstrap recognizes of IMG responsive. I'm giving a class name to the paragraph below it and around it of lead, and that. That changes the font style and makes it much more cleaner to read. So this is the first div of three. And again, they're each four columns wide, which equals 12. That's the first one. Stop the video and type out everything. And I'll scroll down and here is the second one. Stop the video and type that out or you can Grab the first one and copy and paste. And then for the third one, again, the magic number is 12. For the third column four, that's it right there. And then I also close the row. So I have column four, column four, column four. I'm able to uh, close the row after that. And notice I have a comment starting the row and closing the row. All right. And then the next row is going to be, again, just a separate little row for this horizontal rule line. So um, I'm going to um, highlight this. And again, all that is is a row with a column 12 and an HR in the middle. Stop the video and type it out exactly what I have. And then the next thing we're going to be doing is this right here. This is a column four, a column one, and a column seven. Okay? So I'm going to highlight the comment that starts the row. I'll actually just highlight the uh, the first column four with the unordered list 
Notice the unordered list is not does not have an A tag, so you can't click anything. So go ahead and type that out just the way I have it. And you can stop the video. And then here is the weird one. We have one, uh, we have a column, one. We don't do this typically. It's probably the first time we've ever done it. And this is going to be uh, the vertical horizontal rule line. And notice I gave it a class name of vert underscore line. Okay, and notice that both comments, I mean both um, class names are inside quotation marks. Because there's a space between each one, uh, the computer will recognize this one first and then this one separately. So you can do multiple class names for different things, for the same thing really. Okay, and then the third div is the column seven. And that's the larger text over here, right here. So I highlighted that. Go ahead and, again, you want to type that out exactly the way I have it. Notice I gave a class name, uh, text center, right? I use that a lot, that basically anything in the column will be centered horizontally. And then I also gave it a separate class name of lower underscore P to the paragraph. So that's row five right here. And then the last row, I actually stopped. Uh, let's see if I did this here. Oh, so um, what I did was after row five, I closed the main container. So there it is right there. So after row five, this, this row right here, I stopped the main container. And then I started another container for the footer. So there that is. And that's all this right here. And this was kind of tricky. If you see, I got the text vertically centered. And I'll show you how to do that again in the second video. This is just HTML. So this is... I just want you to, this is, your page is going to look really weird because there's no CSS. So just type it out the way exactly I have it, and then we'll go in the next video. We'll do all of the CSS, but don't really look at it. Um, just take your time, stop the video, stop and start it, and type out exactly what I have with comments. Okay, that's my expectation. Okay, and that's all in between the body. All right, thanks. Um, I'll um, get into the all the CSS in the next video.